Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld Raider Empire. So in the last episode we have, uh, I think we actually finished it beforehand, uh, not last episode but the episode prior, but all of the digging is now done and we kind of hit a roadblock where we don't have enough granite to be able to continue finishing up the little bits of wall. We don't need a whole lot um, other than I guess when we start doing the giant dig out for the vanilla ships, but that's going to provide a whole bunch of granite chunks anyway, so that's not going to be an issue. But yeah, we're a little short on granite, so we're working on processing through those while we're also getting a little bit of clothing sent out because we don't have room for it. Uh, so I did set up that between episodes, and we're working on getting all these chunks out of here so we have more room for more chunks because there's still lots of chunks around that need to get hauled out. Uh, other than that, things are going quite well. What we are going to be working on today is uh, segregation. We got to start getting a million doors in. That way we can make this all nice and safe. And while we do that, we also have to get our cooling network set up. That way we don't have, you know, all of our little rooms set up in a way where they're going to start warming up. Uh, so it's a lot of work ahead of ourselves for today, but it's not that big of a deal. It's just going to take a while. Uh, so where do we current? Oh, we never did set that up because we do want to get our vents on these as well uh, so that will get those finished and then all up in here we'll finish this all at once once we get all these walls back into place uh, we've got to get the floors in here still uh, but that's all connected up through here all through here is good uh, that's looking pretty good not quite sure what we're going to do here we'll see where everything goes once we start finishing it up we're also going to get our sniper turrets set up so that shouldn't be too big of a deal uh, and then all up here has conduits all over. Obviously in here needs to be conduited, but again, we got to get things finished before we get any solid plans together. Um, and I didn't apparently get granite set up in here. So those stick out, what, too far? Too far. There we go. So we'll get these in and hopefully we'll pull up some granite blocks sometime soon. Uh, so that's good. And we are also, and I keep forgetting to pay too much attention, I don't think we've had ourselves a orbital trader, uh, sorry, an orbital factory anytime recently, but we need to still get our hands on a whole bunch of uh, specific components for our batteries. That's going to be a real pain. Because I don't, I'm pretty sure the orbital factory will have them. Uh, so along with that, how's our power system? Because we are going to have to make sure that that's running everywhere as well so that's looking good we have our crossovers there that's running through there no problems uh, all connected through here no problems uh, yeah we already have it all done basically uh, we can run them up along these walls as well and then our cooling goes all the way up to the end already so that's not a problem all right so that's looking pretty good so what's the plan for these again uh, because we do need door access into here and I didn't get that set up in the plan uh, because we have our turrets and then the purple is embrasure red is turrets and yeah I didn't plan where a door goes for this <laughs> um so I guess the best way to go would be to open that up a little bit more so that way we can do a door there a door there and then come in is that going to be a problem trying to set up? That is a good question. So the best way to go about doing this would be obviously just move this back one and then we have an extra wall there. And yeah, we're going to have to do it on both sides. It shouldn't be a big deal. And is that going to be a problem trying to do? Yeah, there's no path. So they're not going to be able to do that. So what we really need to do is move these out of the way that way we could dig it and then put them in okay that's not a huge deal so we'll just do that all over the place that way we have a consistency that should be fine i hope we'll see we'll see there we go uh so then that should get fixed you guys are getting all that done and do we have anything else over here last episode we also fixed this whole temperature thing uh, because we didn't have enough vents or enough heating to be able to make sure that everything's running as well as it could be. Uh, so this temperature is all fixed. All down here is done. Uh, there's our last bits of wall to finish this up. So those chunks are going to need to get out of here at some point. Uh, so we'll just set them up to haul. And how's this ship going? Oh god, that's going to be laggy. Uh, we have 141 limestone chunks still. Okay, I'll let you, we'll let you guys get that done. 
And then this is already full of clothing. I'm assuming it's done. So we'll send that back. It's not a whole lot in there, but it'd be nice to have ships over at that base. So when we need to send food again, we can. Uh, so we'll get that sent. Uh, and then that just needs to go and land right about there. And then we'll keep these here for right now until, well, we need to move them. Uh, so that's all good. So then from here, it's, uh, we can get these turrets set up. Uh, so that's all just going to be sniper turrets, nice and easy. Uh, we are going to be doing them out of plasteel. That way they have as much health as possible. Hiding room saver, that shouldn't be a problem. And these are just one giant cluster. We do need to get power conduits running into here as well. Uh, these should be pretty low risk overall. Because we do have the shield. Uh, and there was debate on whether we should use two smaller shields instead of the big one. Because the big one's off center. But it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Because it's not like it affects anything other than just being visually off center, but we don't see that anyways. So it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so then that's good. We need to get our power brought in there a little bit more. Uh, so then we can bring that one on each side, and then right to there should be more than enough. So then we can get our doors going in here. Doors ready to go there. Uh, we are going to have door uh, these in the way of our doors here. So, we could just hold off this area for right now. That should be fine. Uh, and then I guess we should just start from the front to the back. What are you doing with that? Okay, you're getting all these moved. Okay, so we can get rid of this. So, that's all done by the looks of it. So, then what we need to do from here... I guess we need this back on for a sec. Uh, so, then we need... These then move back into here, because then that will make it so they'll mine them and then place them. And then these granite walls here, we don't need. Now that granite wall, is there any easy place to move them? I guess we could move them here, which is a little bit on the tedious side, but we're kind of short on resources. We could buy some granite. If we buy granite from them, we're going to have to move them, which is kind of a pain as well. How much granite did we have here? Uh, what don't we need? We don't need that up. Yeah, we don't have like any granite or slate here. Not that slate's a concern, but any granite we do get should go right to there and it should be a quick load up. Uh, so uh, I guess we'll buy some. Please speed it up. Uh, so we want the cellar miner. That's assuming they have some. I'm assuming they will. I think they do carry blocks. Uh, so and that's fine. We'll check that out. And uh, we can get the planning off. So then that's going to be these getting moved into these. Because we don't need these here anymore. That shouldn't be a problem. We can let them run. Oh yeah, I didn't want it to run. It's fine. Because we're just going to get interrupted by the trade. Yeah, there it is. Uh, do you have chunks for us? Granite? Yeah, 1300. It's not much, but we'll take it. And we should be good for everything else, I think. I hope. Okay, so we'll get that trade done. Uh, so what didn't get moved? That didn't get moved. And then whatever else doesn't fit in this area, I guess we'll just deconstruct it. Which kind of sucks, but I'm not going to try to do it where... I don't like trying to move stuff manually like this if they're not on the same screen. Because then you're dragging it around and... And you get stutters, and it's all a nightmare. Uh, so it's kind of a waste, but we'll deconstruct that. Because I don't think that we need the granite anywhere else other than back in here. Which I guess we could use it for the corner. Right there. Wait, where's... Oh god, it's all messy. Okay, so we have a door that's going to go there. And then a walkway that comes in. And then that back wall is granite. So yeah, we can push some of these into the center. Extend that out one. Uh, so we'll do that there. There and there. And these bottom ones are going to need to do that here. Here. And we are going to have to build a couple, I think. That's all of these, right? Yes, 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 yes. 
I guess that one's, oh, it was right there. It's just so short, I didn't notice it. Uh, yes and yes, and then these are, that one doesn't have anywhere to go, or is that the one going right there? It is the one going right there. Uh, and then that doesn't look like it's being used. So then that goes there, and that one there, and that should be good. Oh boy, we'll get it built in C. <laughs> uh, so we don't need that in that. We can get that set up with that granite, because, well, once it's moved, um, we'll give them some time. And that's not getting loaded. We don't have anything getting loaded right now. We don't have to worry about that. This is temperature-wise. That's all good. Okay, good, good, good. And then these turrets are coming together very quickly. So, next, we need cooling. Now, if we're starting from the front, we'll let them speed up because they're also trying to get a bunch of other stuff done. Uh, damn it, Heimdall. I was hoping that they wouldn't get anyone stuck in here. Uh, can you do that, please? And then you're not going to be able to do that one. So we'll move that there instead. Can you do that, please? There you go. You're free. Uh, and I guess for now, we'll just leave that open because we don't want this warming up anyways. So, yeah, we'll just move that right there for right now. Uh, and then that should all be good. Everything else is good. This is all good and ready to go. Uh, so we know that we're going to need cooling pipes or sorry, uh, vents. Small ones should work because we're going to do one on either side just for symmetry reasons. Uh, so we could do one here, one here, and then the same for all of it. And then we can get the doors on this. And we are going to be having, for now, all of our doors set to hold open. That way, for one, the temperature will flow through, and two, less walk time for us. Uh, but, you know, they're going to be not opened automatically, so we'll have to deal with that. Which is going to be kind of a pain, but it's kind of whatever. Uh, so, and that's looking good. And then the granite was moved, so then we can set... I guess we don't really need a big one, but we're going to need it for chunks anyways because we already have our full load set up uh so yeah we'll just get all the granite moved into here we shouldn't need anything else i guess we could send over the specific components we do have not that it's going to make much of a difference because it's not enough to get anything done um and then i think we have enough of everything else and then just the granite so that will get set up and our lavish meals are getting built up again so that's working so once that's at 300 we'll send over a whole load and our blocks are getting processed through here uh, so that should all get finished sometime soon okay and then did you guys finish up all these no that's because they're all working on this all right and we are going to need so we don't need cooling for this room so we can get these doors on and get those doors on so we'll let's set up doors that don't need anything uh, so we can set up auto doors. We don't need auto doors on everything either. But may as well have it consistent. It's going to take power, but we're not going to have power issues here. Because this is going to be massive overkill. Assuming we fill it up anyways. Uh, so we could do door, 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 and door. And then that can have its doors as well. Uh, and then... All this does need to get its doors, but we don't want to close these vents off yet until we make sure that we have enough elsewhere to keep everything else cold. Uh, and then these are ready to go. So these are going to need some small vents within here. That way we can make sure, uh, I guess, symmetry. See, the problem with symmetry is we only need the one. But I want two, but that's going to be more flow. That means more air uh, intakes. But what can you do, I guess? We'll find a way to make it work. <laughs> Everything now we can just figure out as we go. So that's all good. And then... Is there anything else that could use... Oh, don't be afraid. Okay, intercepted message. That's fine. Is there anything else that needs it right now? No. So once these get finished... That should have its flow. Yes. Uh, once those get finish down here too then we'll get these doors set up and then we're going to need some flow for this hallway we get our lights in this hallway as well um still didn't finish the whole light situation so this hallway how do we want to cool it we could do two big vents at the end but if we do that we're not going to vent uh, so we're not going to door between these layers but i don't think that's super necessary 
because we're gonna have the, obviously the doors right here and then the doors right here and then all these individually have a double door as well so we should be okay doing lights here here i guess that would be centered there that'll make that well lit and then we'll grab two big vents i guess we only need it's only the hallway here so we should be fine with two small ones instead that way it's the same and that should be all right we'll wait for all that to get done then the doors uh over here we're not worried about just yet when that stuff's getting done that's gonna take forever you guys can speed it up please and how's our chunks has oh god it's gonna be laggy is this done they're trying to grab them from in there so i guess we can just get this out of here as is it's not gonna be a completely full load but we should have enough room in this stockpile for everything else that's around so one more full load uh so we can cancel that and then this is ready to go so we need to load up a map and we are going to be loading up crap stone to drop all our crap stones in because that's something that someone pointed out and i'm like hey i like that so we want to do that from here so i don't have to reload i'll be back all right so there we go so we have crap stone here and uh, we can just drop it off essentially anywhere this is actually a lot of stuff on this map obviously we're not going to come and bother with it but i say that but there's a lot of free meat maybe we do come and pick that up <laughs> uh so if we want to pick that up the best way to go about this yeah because there's food around because uh, we don't need to send a person with a ship because this is our map tile but we'll send uh we'll send the interceptor over so we'll load that up with a few people and then load as much food that's on the map up as we can uh so we can just grab it doesn't really matter who uh we'll grab our melee people why not yeah you three should be able to deal with that uh so you guys can load up into that and then in the meantime we'll launch you get you down into crapstone and we'll just drop that off anywhere it doesn't really matter uh preferably somewhere without any possible enemies i guess we could just drop it down here so then that will just overflow uh and then we are gonna want stockpile for these obviously um they are in storage as well so we might have to do some fuckiness with this and they are going to deteriorate fairly shortly well some of them anyways i don't know if there's going to be anything else around but there we go so those chunks are there so then this can load up oh yeah shit i did need a oh no i guess we should be able to do this and just launch it yes 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 it's only when there's no items around that it's a problem uh, so then you can come back up to here. Uh, do we want to send this all the way to the other base? Because we have uh, another big ship coming and we only really need the one. Or do we want to just load? Yeah, yeah, we may as well send that all the way back to the main base. There's no reason to bring it there if we're going to need to send it back anyways. Uh, so you can go there. And then in the meantime, has this been loaded? Yes. So then you guys can go all the way down. Do the swap, and we'll come steal this food. There's no good reason not to, and we can use uh, the extra meat and stuff. Yeah, because right now we're just hunting for meat. Okay, so that's not a problem. Uh, and then what we are going to want to do is, I guess, throw down a stockpile. That shouldn't be an issue. We have all these turrets here that should deal with them fairly quickly. Do you have to kill the dog? Do you have to punch the turret? Eh, yeah, there you go. There you go. You guys are got it. No problem. And then people should automatically come deal with this. That ship should be here any second. Work frenzy, that's fine. Okay, so that's dealt with and you guys are coming to deal with it. Good. You guys are obviously busy doing everything. Good. That should come any second now. There you go. So, for loading. Uh... If we just do a load, there is all of this already here because they're able to grab it from anywhere on the map. So we don't need to set up a stockpile, which I, I thought for our map tiles we had to. That's kind of confusing, uh, but I am kind of curious what's in some of these rooms now, just because that's a good amount of food. 
Uh, so let's just do... Oh, of course. I grabbed the one person that's trying to eat. Uh, can you come and just uh, check out some of these? Oh, fuck off. I don't care. We're not naming stuff here. It's not necessary because we're just going to destroy it or make it disappear. Uh, and what's in these little rooms here? Uh, what we can do is the whole map claim. So go. Yeah, empty. Empty and empty. Uh, so what we'll do for right now is start loading up this meat. Oh, and I guess the rice as well. And then while you two of them are doing that, we'll get Ixius to continue just exploring some of the other buildings in case there's goodies. Uh, go do what you need to do. Thank you. And then these, we should just be able to walk in. No problem. And then that one we're going to have to break in. Area really, yeah, I'm not worried about areas revealed. Uh, so you should be able to cut through this pretty quick. And there is some foxes around, but that's not going to be an issue. And claim go in. Oh, it's going to be a pain. There's a lot of different doors here. Uh, that food should get hauled very, very quickly because obviously they have pickup and haul. Uh, so we can check that one and that one. And then there's a bunch of small ones here. But yeah, I'm not worried about those. Uh, do we have any other nice big rooms? These are probably not going to have anything. There's this over here we'll check. But you guys... Oh, we're going to want to allow all. That way you guys can grab all that. So there's probably even more. Uh, we'll wait till they finish that so we can set up more. But that should be fine. And then that fox is going to be a pain. Fine. We should be able to kill it. With, you know, no real risk. <laughs> if that fox kicks our ass with Bastion... And with all of everything that we have, then we have bigger problems than, uh, you know, getting one person's ass kicked. Go. Check these. Okay, yeah. And then there's a big one right here. Now, that might be an ancient danger, which we're not going to want to screw with. We could probably take it with three people like this. Here, go away. No, you don't care. Die. Come on. All you need is one good hit. There you go. Okay, check this. Oh god, another one. Okay, kill it. You guys actually take a little bit longer than I was expecting. Oh, it's because you don't have pickup and haul like that. Well, it's a good thing it's close. Uh, so then we can check this and actually let's uh walk up to this. That might not be an ancient danger. It looks kind of large to be an ancient danger, actually. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to want to touch that. Uh, we can check these out, though. Okay, come over to that. Probably nothing in these. That's human leather. Nope. Kind of look like it. And we're not going to break through any of these. Uh, so is there anything else that might be worth looking into? Not really. We'll check this one, come back, then check the one that's near the ship. But no loot. We do have a few statues. I'm not too worried about them. Okay. They're negative ones anyway. Uh, so then you can just come down here. And hopefully you don't track any foxes. Short. Eh. Glitter World Trader. Uh, we will check the Glitter World Trader to see if they have the specific components. Hey, look at that. Some free food that we're not going to need. Oh, the hell. Uh... What happened? Uh, is that from these? What the fuck? What the hell happened? I don't know what to make of that. It shouldn't have been from the cargo pods. But that's the only thing I could think of. Is, did we get any weird collapses anywhere else? I, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to make of that. Everything else looks fine. It's a good thing there was no one in there. I'm assuming not. We didn't get a message saying anyone died. We didn't get any more weird collapses over here. Are you stuck? You... Ah! You have to do this, and you can't save yourself. Eleven, can you come and save your mom, please? 
Yeah, no, everything else is fine. I, I That could just be some weird cargo pod weirdness. Because I don't know what else to make of that. But okay. Whatever. Uh, and then ACS, you're on your way down. Okay, good. Then can you wait back up and continue doing this? It still might be worth doing a stockpile around this and then just go all urgently instead. Because then you'll just move a whole bunch and it'll be slightly quicker because you're walking over this and it takes a lot longer. Uh, so then you check that. And if these don't have anything, then we won't try to get to that other one. Yeah, no. Okay, you're free to go. Can you sleep? Okay. I really don't want this sitting outside because it is deteriorating very quickly. But yeah, that will uh, speed things up quite a bit. Hey, okay. we'll just give Ixius a minute and then wake her up. Uh, okay, so then you guys are mining this out so we can get into here. But yeah, that's, that's a weird one. I've never seen that situation before. You guys are working on getting that done. Okay, we'll just uh, keep an eye on this. We're basically done with that. Hey, Ixius, wake up. That should be enough where you can assist with the last of the loading. And we'll get out of here and destroy this map because we don't need this. We can just abandon the hell out of it. Oh, and you're loading it up from here. See, that's so much quicker. That's why I always try to haul first. Where are you going? Uh, gathering... I'd rather if you didn't. Uh, so what we can do is just delete that because all this has been hauled. So that way we don't do anything but this stuff here. But yeah, it's significantly quicker to pick up and haul close to the ship and then do the last of the ship. Uh, our pod's loaded. Oh, so there was more. Okay, so we'll have to set up a stockpile. Not a big deal. So load with whatever else is left. And you guys should be able to get that done. And short fuse, go finish that up real quick, please, so we can get out of here before uh, all the moods go bad. Uh, Chaos, go away, thank you. Chaos, can you come and check out the Glitter World Trader and see if they have our specific components, please? so messy here we don't have cleaning uh ship reactor start up oh do we want to steal another ship we're a little busy and we don't have our mercenaries and we're not turning mercenaries on for this because it's going against the rules of how bases turn off and on we don't just the okay so just a clarification because there was uh a while back when we turned off our mercenary base people like not a lot of people there's a couple comments saying it's cheating to just turn them off and save the money that way we turn them off long term because i'm not going to just let the base just sit there running for all the time that we're doing the vault stuff and it's against the rules the ryan rules to just like turn it on and then use them for a raid or something and then turn them back off um when we turn them on again, it's because we're going to be back to killing bases and all that. But they're off now because that's we're not using them for that. So it's not like we're going to turn this on, go use it for the ship thing, and then, you know, turn it off again. If we turn them on, they're stuck on, then we have to just keep that map tile open. Uh, I try to make it reasonable because obviously having them off, I don't know how long we've been doing the vault stuff, but we're not paying them right now. So it'd be kind of cheap to, you know, turn it on for this fight although we'd have to pay that hundred thousand or whatever our charge is for them but it's we can't just turn stuff on and off for our convenience we have to have the reasons that we like it's like the outpost we turned it off because for a while there because we had no use for it for a long time and then we turned it back on when we finished up the area and then it's off and we'll probably never use it again unless we have a reason but there's not really gonna ever be a reason so it's permanently off but it's still a part of our empire so you know Yes, we can't just turn bases on and off for our convenience. And you might be wondering about the whole this map tile thing. Uh, I was going to delete these all together because obviously we only have these existent because we are looking for a good vault map. Uh, so, you know, we're just dumping our stones off here and then they're going to be just destroyed. And, you know, that's that is technically our convenience, but it doesn't really benefit us because if we didn't dump it here, we just dump it somewhere else anyway. So either way. Uh, do you have a specific component? I do not see anywhere I'd expect it. And I'm not seeing any down here. I don't think they are down here anyways. I'm pretty sure it's 
up near normal components. So Glitter World Traders also don't have it. Um, Chaos, though, I did see that we did have a trade. Can you just do your bargaining automatically, please? Thank you. There's a little bit of stuff. Oh, it's because we bought a Sooth Pulsar. That's fine. So yeah, basically, we're not going to worry about this. It'd be really cool to steal another ship. But that would involve sending everyone over. Especially if the mortars that they... Because obviously these people are going to be heavy duty. They're, they're going to have doomsdays and everything too. Uh, the mortars, they could be anti-grain mortars. The turrets are going to be all over the place. Because it's essentially four bases in one around a ship. Uh, we'd have to send everyone to do it reasonably safely. And we're busy as much as I want it. Uh, how long do we have for that actually? You would think it's 15 days like ours. 14 days, yeah. Okay. So if we somehow finish everything in 14 days, we could consider it. But otherwise, we'll let them escape the Raider Empire planet. I guess. And that's all done. Uh, we are going to need... Oh, shit. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, we didn't lose one of those doors. But we do need to get that door back in. Uh, we finished all these sniper turrets. These doors are done. Uh, so we are going to need cooling. Uh... Before we do that, you guys are almost done. Technically, you're done. We get those. Man, I don't know what you're all up to, but yeah, finish the loading of this so we can get this food out of here. I still don't know if food goes bad in here. I don't know if this is technically a refrigerated thinger. So it would kind of suck if it did. We could actually test that at the main base. Just throw something in there and then wait a little bit. That probably would be good information. Because there is some times that I end up accidentally leaving food for quite some time. Uh, no, you don't want to do that either. Is this done? Oh, it's... Yeah, stop here. Where's, like... Oh, you're right there. Yeah, get that loaded so we can get everyone out of here. Okay, everything's done. Uh, so then you guys also get in. And then there we go, a bunch of free food. It's a little bit tedious, but it is what it is. Uh, so then that needs to go all the way back up to here. And you guys just land in the center. We'll uh, hold that urgently, for sure. Because it's, it's a lot of it's deteriorated to hell. And you guys are getting all this moved. Everything's looking good. Uh, and then once that ship comes in, we'll send this one out. Because it's ready for launch as well. all these prisoners didn't die right we're good not that it really matters come on you going oh cutting wood yeah that's fine that's allowed oh these these trips take so long between the different areas okay and then i don't know why some got forbidden but we'll do a haul urgently hey and then this is ready to go. Uh, we don't want to reload, sorry, launch. And that needs to come all the way back down to here. Okay, and then this map is now ready to just get non-existent. Uh, so we just need to go world and abandon. Uh, and then we do have one more for the rest of the chunks. And then all of our checking locations are all gone. Uh, so there's no ships, no nothing. We shouldn't be concerned, just gone. Oh, that wasn't even... Crapstone? Oh, it's because it got renamed. Yes, when we landed, it asked for a name. That makes sense why it wasn't Crapstone. <laughs> uh, so other than that, things are looking good. This is almost completely hauled. Uh, all this stuff has been moved, so we can get that moved back to where it should be. Uh, these all need to get pushed into these, and then we're ready to throw the embrasures in and the doors. So we'll get those doors set up. Uh, and then we do have, obviously, some granite here once the ship makes it. So we'll, I guess, finish up the power area's walls first, and then we'll come and start getting these embrasures in. That way we can get our storage ready. How did I miss this whole middle section? How did, how did I go from here to here without doing here? Oh, that doesn't have a center. Okay, we'll do that right there. I should check the other ones now. No, oh, no, no, no. It stuttered. Cancel whatever I just did. Oh, I set up smoothing. Uh, so then that's there. That's there. So then 
we just need a single in, uh, wall on that one and then those all have them those all have them those all have them so that's all ready to go uh, that door is basically done uh, then we need a bit of cooling to make sure that this doesn't warm up in here uh, so eh, i guess we could do cooling on one side and a light on the other the symmetry is kind of it, it kind of works out i guess works out enough so, and that's ready to go and then these are all set up so that's all ready to go so we can get these doors on here as well oh my god we're at time again i'm flies and these are all ready to murder anything oh good that's not a raid uh so that's just more stuff sold so go oh, geez look at all this stuff here i haven't been clearing them as we go do we need any of this combat supplier we can take a quick look at yeah other than that no so let's get rid of all this um do we still have armors or has it basically been purged it's basically been purged so we won't worry about trying to sell any of that right now so then this is all good there's nothing to worry about at this base we are making chem fuel good we got our ship here that's here all that food's been hauled our temperature stuff is fine uh, we can do an allow all in case there's stuff around so that's all good and that'll get done and that's all good don't need a surgical supplier all right didn't quite get as much segregation get done as i wanted but it's looking good looking good so then for next episode we'll continue working on in here we'll get all the embrasures done in here with what blocks we have we're almost done processing through what we did get down here so it might be worth getting ourselves a quarry obviously these doors need to get changed out as well that's all looking all right how is it i got rid of the embrasure here so this is all the area that this is venting out of but yet we had a similar sized area over here oh well, i guess we didn't we had it much smaller i don't know how big you need it for it to be considered outside because it doesn't tell you because that's still technically an indoor unroofed or it's technically just unroofed do you have any small area that i can use there that's just unroofed so that's big enough 20 tiles that's unroofed 16. obviously there's no way to know if that's technically big enough i don't quite get how that mechanic works we could throw a fire in there and see if 16 tiles is enough but there's a certain point where it counts itself as not just indoor unroofed and it's actually outdoors but it's still gonna say indoor or it's not it's just gonna say unroofed but you know this room tool doesn't show shit for that i just hmm, i don't know that's something that i would probably have to sit there and make a test for it and see what's actually a safe venting area because that 24 is obviously enough either way it's not that big of a deal uh so yeah that's gonna be it for today so next episode yeah we'll just uh get all that going but either way that is it for today so thank you everybody for watching and i hope you all have a great day see ya